Hey guys, um, so last night, um, I was trying to go to bed and, um, like I kind of talked about, my prayers are like forever long and I literally was like yelling sometimes, okay, I wasn't yelling, but sometimes when you pray, you just want to be, you're like, help me or whatever. And I just kind of went from one thing to another, um, praying that, um, conflicts would resolve and that like I can move forward from will because I do feel like I am uh, more than I ever thought I could and just like things like that and I don't know how it just got so screwy that I was just like bawling and could not like sleep and if you know me at all you know like I do not get along with my mom whatsoever and um I've told you I think that like I don't sleep in my bedroom um, just because of I don't know but my mom does and I sleep in hers and we're like since we're in my grandparents house like we're just we basically have like sibling bedrooms where they're just like next to each other and it was like 5 a.m. and I'd been crying for like a long time and I like just like ran into my mom's or into my mom and like laid on her and then like fell asleep finally which this is like not something I do so it was a lot and I'm sure I worried her I wasn't she didn't know I was crying though but um I'm just kind of in this place where like I've felt like I've had a ton of progress and yesterday I was just kind of like thinking back on just like my life and I think I talked about like what I think people would think about my life and that I'd I just seem pathetic and like I feel like I'm not like going anywhere and I don't need to be successful I just want to have a happy life um, and be happy where I am um, marry the right person have kids um, be comfortable living um, where I don't have to be freaking out about anything and I don't know it's just is not quite there and I feel like I'm stuck and it's not gonna go anywhere so I just kind of had a freak out um, and like all my friends right now that have been like really helpful and like been awesome people to like just spend time with and talk to like Jaden and Blair's not a senior but just like people like that um, are all and Tori and Lily they're all seniors and they're leaving and I just am kind of freaking out because like what's next I'm not gonna just like be friends with the next seniors and the next like it's just hard because everyone that I will know like there isn't like they're at college and it's just I just feel very alone and I'm really tired of being alone and I've definitely like made my personality out to be like a loner but I don't think it's that way like it's only that way because like I could never have friends and I never had like I don't know it's just I've always been solo I've always like I don't felt like I didn't need anybody but I think it was just because nobody was there and I'm really tired of that and yeah and something that I always um something this is a little off topic but I promise it like will come together but something that has is on my concerns a lot or I have a lot of girls in my school or uh, that went to my high school or were in my grade or seniors now and stuff that I feel like they're never single and as soon as they break up with a boyfriend they're with someone else and it's not like I'm I'm not like jealous or whatever PT bruisers <laughs> and PT bruiser also includes the like slug bug and yellow car but anyways it's just like um I am concerned about their self-respect or like do they need that company of others or I just I worry for them um, that they'll get themselves into relationships that aren't healthy I don't know but then 
now that I'm like so I feel like I'm always alone I'm like the complete opposite is like what if I would be happier if I was like that not saying people a bunch of people would date me because I don't think that's true I was lucky enough to have one but um I don't know so that's just a little update for you but I finally uploaded I literally yesterday uploaded my first vlog and last night uploaded my fifth so they're all up there and if you guys wanted to know if it's confusing is I had filmed like a ton of videos like this and like I did it on snapchat before and it was just a pain in the ass to like get up and load but um so um I had like three hours of film and was like dividing it up I was gonna load it as one but I decided to like divide it up into little ones and so that's why they're like five in one day because that had been filmed over the past like two months so yeah but I'm trying to I'm gonna try like once I get them all up to like keep up to date but thanks bye um so I just wanted to reflect on the fact that it's been like a day since I've officially uploaded my um vlog or vlog anyways um it says I had like a decent amount of views which I don't think is right but I don't really care if I had one view but um I know that like like people are concerned that I know that are concerned that like I'm gonna get hate or shit or whatever for it and honestly like I'm already getting it without it so I don't really care but um I do want to say that like if you are someone who's watching this um for those reasons I'm sorry that um this is something that I don't know you have to feel that way about it um I have to embrace what I'm going through and embrace the fact that I have to get over it some way somehow and this is just something that helps I guess so I'm not gonna stop doing it um, until I want to stop um, and I'm sorry if it if again like you want to take this negatively um, I hope you don't but yeah Hey guys, um, so I wanted to say something that I've learned today, but um, I also wanted to touch on, um, it's only been a day since I've uploaded and I'm already getting, or I haven't had any, but I'm hearing that there's already like negative feedback and I totally get that. Um, I just think it's so dumb because like it's my life. And it's just something that like I've been going through something and the least I can do about it is share it for other people to feel like they're not alone in it if they feel like that because a lot of times people hide it and yeah that can be good because then you're not being vulnerable but you know like if everyone's hiding it no one understands that they're not alone and so I wanted to share that um, and then I also wanted to say that um, there's been rumors going around um, about like me being crazy and I'll just embrace it sure I'm crazy whatever but um, well my original diagnosis kind of got out um, and it, I'll just be blunt it was bipolar um, but first of all I want to say that um, when you think of like retarded or mentally ill or bipolar or things like you think about like movie level like you don't think about like the people next to you that could that you would never know have something um but I wanted to add on to um people think I'm like inept or like something's wrong with me you know um and sure whatever but um well, ugh, traffic. <laughs> but, um, 
anyways, um, I learned, so actually bipolar, um, there are two types. There's bipolar one and bipolar two. Bipolar one is, uh, more of what you would assume bipolar means. And bipolar two is just that your mood is really, um, unstable where there are times where you just all of a sudden get like really depressed but then there are times where you are like having a great time I guess oh my gosh okay but um it is also one of the most misdiagnosed um illnesses and I guess fortunately enough for me I don't for sure have it so they're actually testing or not testing there's not really like a test it's not like a blood test you can take. Um, someone just has to talk to you. And that's what I've been doing for the past few months. But um, I'm fortunate enough that I actually probably don't have it. Um, so, joke's on you if you were spreading around that I did. But, um, yeah. And part of me, um, back to like people already talking about it, part of me really just like part of me feels like I should just stop this because I don't want to be judged and stuff but then part of me is like that's why people don't share that's why people keep it in and I the whole reason I'm doing this is so that people feel like they're not alone and if I'm keep it in then that's not going to be shared that message won't get out there so um I'm just going to say that I want to keep doing this, and I guess in the end, if it hurts me more, it hurts me more, but you know, it's getting out there for the other people that need it, um, and I've already had a ton of positive feedback in one day, um, so that counteracts any negative feedback, um, because honestly, there's not something you could say negatively that will make me any worse, or will make me better, or will make you any better. Um, don't jump out in front of me, people. So, I really shouldn't do this driving, but that's when my mind is, like, really deep in thought. But, um, I just, it's hard. Um, I guess I really, like, understand now. Oh, my gosh, it's clearing. <laughs> I understand now why, um, how, like, dumb it is that I would judge people for what they wear, for what they do, for being mentally ill, for resembling and being like, oh, that person is so dumb or whatever. Like, it really hurts my heart that people have to judge like that and that I did. Um, and sometimes I still do because I'm not perfect, but by any means. Um, I just, I wish that someone in a state like mine and I'm lucky enough to be in a better position than I was before all of this um, and able to like reflect a little more but I just wish that like people weren't like people human nature is so messed up I just it's unbelievable um, and I guess it's gonna be how it is gonna be so I'm just gonna have to embrace the fact that those of you who are watching this and choose to take it negatively or make fun of it or whatever, that's your decision and I can't change it and I'm not going to hide from it. Like I'm not going to take them down or make them private just because I don't want that reaction, I guess. So I just wanted to share that and I hope that if your intention was coming on here um, for the drama of it or whatever, I hope that something I said or didn't say reached out to you or something. Um, I don't want to act like I'm put together at all. Because I'm not. Um, but I'm also, like, not the messiest, the most messed up person out there. And a lot of you who are judging this probably are even worse than me. You never know. So, just be careful about what you say about other people and about things you do. And 
Um, I noticed on my earlier videos that I talk a lot about Will or I talk a lot about like people and I really want to turn that around. So if you stuck through, thank you. But yeah. Okay. Bye. Uh, hey guys, um, before this next clip, I just wanted to catch you up, um, today, uh, I was woken up, my grandma's, so, my grandma's 50th wedding anniversary this year, and, um, just to, like, well, rewind, um, 10 years ago, uh, we were going to a family friend's, like, anniversary party for their 50th, and it was my grandparents' 40th anniversary and so I was like grandma and this is when I was nine I was like grandma promise me pinky promise me in 10 years that um I get to plan you a crazy 50th anniversary party and every year since I've thought about it um but anyway so it's this year 10 years later um it's not going to be wild or anything but um I we got up me, my mom, and her mom, my grandma, were got in the car to go get um, st like invites to figure out what we wanted to do. And while we were out, so my grandma has been struggling with her health lately, and has been losing her hair. Um, and I hardly even realized how bad it was until we talked about it today. But we went to go get her a wig, and my grandma, if you know her, has short, thin, brown hair probably white right now but she dyes it anyways um and we walk into the store and the first thing she's like I don't know I was like we were like what kind of wig and she was like I don't know I'm just thinking maybe like curly and I died laughing but this next video is just of her this isn't the way she got it. hers is actually really good and it looks like her um hair just fuller but, um, this video is her trying to put on the, uh, curly-haired wig, so. Lord, you do yourself anyway. So is she gonna need to, like, put her hair, like, back when she is no, wearing the wig? No, can. I mean, uh, the, I, don't, just, I, don't like those, I don't like those hat things underneath. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're just one more thing to mess with. And that, that would weighs a little longer than your hair, so her hair doesn't Oh my show. god, you're gonna look like, <laughs> what's the Roseanne bar? <laughs> so how could you tell us straight or not? Uh, the kids I'm going to show you. Uh, okay. There's a little um, reach up here and feel on like your sideburn right here. Okay. There's little like tabs, okay, like little sideburn yeah. deals, and you want to make sure they're not they're, like this or okay. this. You know, you want them right ears. there on your right there on your okay. temple. Let me see. That's kind of cute. Ooh. Make, make some faces. I can't faces. let you get that. <laughs>